Yeah. <laughs> Counting you down and out, old girl. Everybody says throw the towel in. Send you to that big guitar land in the sky. I've been taking my tuner here. 
and uh, I started off using a hair dryer put the old strings on heating this up with a hair dryer and it just wasn't uh, wasn't working fast enough for me so I took the strings off and I put on 0.013 to 0.056s and started by tuning it uh, uh, one step low tuned it up perfectly one step low right now I'm tuned uh, half step low I think letting the uh, strings do the pulling for me and uh, I can monitor it this way like uh, I had it tuned uh, one fret low yesterday I came back in here today checked it and it was a whole step low it had lowered itself that much so I know I am gaining relief very slowly keeping this plastic neck at about 140 degrees constant and uh, like I say, I've been using a tuner to monitor it. If that neck bows forward it, the slightest, any at all, then I can, uh, the tuning will drop. I can tell from the tuning dropping. So, uh, let me turn that sun lamp off for a minute. And we'll see just exactly how much progress we've made. That thing is still very hot. And I want it to cool down, still under stress with the strings on it. And we got a ways to go yet. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Hold on, let me get the camera in hand. I was going to wrap this up in this video. Where you at? There you are. Uh, hold on a minute, let me just uh, get the camera. If you remember what the neck looked like before, uh, if you remember how much back bow it had before, you can see it's just almost perfectly flat now. There might be a little bit of back bow. Mostly what shows up is that fall away down at the end of the neck that we talked about, the end of the fretboard. But you can see it as compared to before. If you watched my last video, or my other two videos on this, we have gained a lot. I want to gain a little bit more. So that means it's going to spend another day on the chopping block. <laughs> there, if you can see that. See, it's still got a little bit of back bow in it. Now, these strings are not tuned to pitch. Remember, they're still uh, half step down, but they are 13 to 56s. Haven't uh, glued the nut in yet. Haven't done anything to the saddle. Not going to do any of that stuff until we... You can see how high the nut action is right now. But I got a shim under the saddle. I glued it to the saddle so I can take that down and get the measurements once I get the right neck relief. Still sick. Getting better. Feel much better finally. Maybe you can see. Yeah, no, I think you can see it better like this. Yeah, check that out. Compare that to the last video. We have gained a lot. And I knew we had by the tuning dropping. Hold on. So yeah, I'm going to put her right back into the vise again. Well, not necessarily a vise, but I think you know what I'm talking about here. Put the big daddy heat lamp back on it. The distance from the light to the neck is how I control the temperature on the neck. And it's working. You're going to have that in the center of that light. And I have to shove uh, the lower part of the neck uh, up, you know, because it's farther away to get the heat on it. It's already cooled down a lot, just what little bit of time I've had it off. I'll come back and check that tuning just in a few hours. Well, it'll be sooner than that because. Like I say, we don't want to overshoot this, and I think with this method it's going to work, and we could very well overshoot it. But uh, what I was going to say was uh, I was going to wrap this thing up in this video, 
and uh, everyone's telling me to throw the towel in and let it go, uh, but I don't know, man. If this guitar is played around a campfire and and it's playable again and it brings happiness and joy to folks, you know, that's what I'm after. That's my goal. If that happens, then everything we're doing here besides the money I'm paid uh, it was well worth it, you know. And I'm not charging the guy very much for this because I get a lot of business from him. He's a good customer, has been a good customer several years now. And I still can't breathe too well. I'm feeling better, but uh, a long ways to go there too. But uh, finally getting better. So anyways, I was going to say, I was going to wrap this thing up in this video and call it. But uh, it's, like I say, it's working. The next video, I'm actually going to uh, put the new strings on it. I got some Ernie Ball Earthwood medium light gauge. Now these are, the, the strings I said I have on there now are 13s to 56s. And that's too heavy for that guitar with fan bracing. So uh, I got a set of these. They're uh, 0 0.012 to 0 0.054. Uh, these tuned up higher than the one that's on there now. You know, it's going to create roughly the same amount of stress as these bigger strings tuned a half step lower. Or uh, a step lower, even. I can't remember what the weight value is with them tuned up to 440, but it's nearly the same. So, all that being said, next video, folks, we're going to hear this guitar, actually, what it sounds like. Right now, I'm going to take my phone and check that tuning again. Make sure that uh, every string is dead on a half step below 440 tuning. And uh, I'll come back in here in an hour or two, check it, and over time that tuning will drop. And that's telling me that the neck is getting relief in it forward uh, above. So I just wanted to catch up on what's going on. And thanks, you guys, man. Uh, <laughs> There was a lot of good suggestions and ideas posted on my last video. I think every single one of you, for every one of those, was very helpful. Uh, Y'all rock, man. I appreciate every single one of you that replied. With Even if you didn't have an idea, I like your comments. I like lots of comments. I don't always get around to answering every one of them, but I like getting a lot of them. You know, and I answer as many as I can. So uh, I'm going to go back to bed, take more pills and lay down, and uh, more JD. <laughs> Hot toddies have become uh, a norm here. But I'll keep you up to date soon, uh, very soon. Next couple of days should have this thing back in playing condition and on its way back to the rightful owner. And like I say, if, if it brings smiles to some old folks' face or joy to them from the music that comes out of it, that right there is payment for me, you know. I mean, I'm getting, like I said, I'm getting paid for it too, but I'm not doing this for that money. I'm doing it because, you know, it's too nice of a guitar to throw away, man. I know they're not real expensive models, but you'll see. In the end, I always win, and I'm going to win again. <laughs> so, cheers. I'll see you guys. Thanks again for all the comments and suggestions. I got a new lens for my camera, by the way. Uh, looks like it might be having a little trouble focusing at times. It's a very wide lens, wide angle lens. I don't know if it's going to work out or not. Let me know what you think. It's just really, I can set the camera a lot closer now, but it looks like it's having some focusing issues from, of course, I can't see it anyway, man. Like I said, I look at the camera. I can barely see the camera, let alone that tiny little screen. I'm rambling. Cheers. See you on the next vid. Thanks again, guys and gals, for everything. See you soon. Look who popped in for a visit. Whoo! And Zeke's here, too. Can you see Zeke? Whoo! Whoo! I love you. I love you. I love you. You can tell.